Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell Latitude 3510 model. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove the RAM or replace the RAM or even upgrade them. I made a short video how to check your RAM capacity for your laptop, your PC. Check that link in the video description in case you wonder. We have upgraded this laptop to a 32 gig with no problem. You can go 16 gig is the ideal for these CPUs. And I'm going to get you into that. The RAM speed, everything is set by the BIOS, by the motherboard. So you don't have, you cannot, you don't have any control over that. So that's pretty much by default. I'll leave the compatible RAM in the video description tools that I use. So check those if, in case you want to buy it. By replacing the RAM, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything's going to be left the way it was uh, before you powered it off. So it's pretty much plug and play. All right. So let's get into it. First thing first, you need a good screwdriver set. I recommend you guys the iFix screwdriver set. And I purchased myself the basic tool set. If you want, you get the Pro set. They will, it's a little expensive, but it will give you opening tools, but if not, get the basic set. I will use an opening tool for the case to opening the cases. I mean, I use a guitar pick to opening cases. Uh, plastic spatula is good to have around. A curved or straight tweezers in case you need to. But for this one, I will do it with, with this one. So, you know, I don't even need this spatula. All right. Down here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. And we're going to loosen up all the screws. The screws will not come out entirely because it has a little something called a C-lock. The C-lock will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. So all you need to do is just rotate. And the C-lock will help you to separate the bottom casing from the palm rest. So as soon as I start rotating the C-lock, the screw in here, you want to see a tiny gap opening between the bottom cover and the palm rest. So let's see if that thing pushes away. There we go. Very tiny, but it is right there, that separation. So you want to loosen up all the screws. You want to hear a click sound. That's fine. That's what you want to hear when you rotate it. Just don't sit there rotating for five hours. Just rotate and let go. Rotate and you feel like the screw is really loose. And that's when you stop. All right. If the screw really comes out entirely, don't worry about it. You can just push it back in and screw it back in. If the C-lock breaks, that's not, not a big deal. All right, once we removed all that, I mean, unscrew it, we're gonna place the guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. And you wanna lift it, and you wanna hit this gap opening. You wanna do that all around in the front, on the side, towards the front. Work yourself all the way in the front. Go to the other side. And there we go. Once you have that done, lift up from the front and wiggle around, and it should release the back side. Put your fingers on the hinge and lift it up, and it will come out. And there we have it. This laptop does come with a two RAM. If you might have only one, usually they get shipped with one eight gig, so you have only one, not two. But people always like, oh, why don't you disconnect the battery to work on the RAM and stuff like that? You don't need to. As long as you power off, it's safe to work on the RAM. But if you want to be paranoid, if you think you're going to drop a screwdriver, it's stuff on the board, sure, go ahead, put your fingers on the side of this jack and pull it back straight. To put it back in, make sure face it straight in front of the connector and push it evenly straight in. I see so many people that try to put it in sideways and a spark comes on and the motherboard just goes. Dead. Anyway, to remove the RAM, all you want to do, picture, you want to put your fingers on the side of these triggers and pull them away from each other, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And then what you want to do here, grab it in 45 degree angle and pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. Pull it out. All right, these are uh, DDR4 RAMs. You, you can put a 16 gig here, 16 gig in on the other them. With no problem, you can even, if you have an 8 gig, you just want to add an extra 16 gig, you can do that with no problem. That's doable. Now, just make sure the notch on the RAM, the notch right in here, the cut or notch, whatever you want to call it, it matches the cut and the notch right on the dim. The dim does have a little cut right in there. So if you try to put it the other way around, it will simply doesn't go in. Same thing in here, it's not going in. The RAM chip orientation on the RAM doesn't make any difference as long as the cut, the notch matches. You want to make sure 
you bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector so all the pins are inside and then you want to push it towards the motherboard and you want to hit, see these two triggers open and close simply and it stays straight that's how you know the ram is in place same thing in here bring it in 45 degree angle in there and push it towards the motherboard and you're going to hear this see these triggers open and close and they make a nice click sound now if you have this connected to the battery plug it back in once you power on you can power on without putting the bottom cover on and wait up to 30 seconds for the motherboard to do a mem check if after 30 40 seconds you still don't get anything on the screen no display power it down and switch the RAM place. I put the old one in here, the new one in the other side, just switch them around, power it on, and wait another four to five, uh, I mean, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and it's gonna boot up, all right? Once you finish, just grab the bottom cover, put it on top, push down the corner, the front, the back, you wanna hear those nice click sounds, and then you just wanna just uh, screw down the cover back on. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade, RAM upgrade for your Dell Latitude 3510. If you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and supports me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I'm just going to power on the laptop so we see that it does power on. Uh, always plug in in the charger when you want to power on the laptop. I'll be tapping F2 so it goes to the bio. So it takes a little time, that's fine. Just wait up to 30 seconds. See the cap lock light is on. So it should turn off and it's going to turn on again. It should turn on again. There we go. So that's what motherboard is doing. It's just doing a mem check. And it should start showing up the logo. Tap F2 if you want to go to the BIOS, check the information. So it's going to the BIOS. And we are in the BIOS and we can see all the information. The RAM, 8 gig, we have installed it. Slot 1, slot 2, 4 gig, and 4 gig. All right, and that should cover up today's video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.